family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I'm going to just be sharing with you my um, Sunday afternoon. I actually threw some meat on the grill. I know it's the Labor Day weekend, you guys, but we don't celebrate holidays with Jehovah's Witnesses. I just happened to decide to put our meat on the grill today, and I wanted to share it with you. So I'm cooking uh, riblets. That's what I'm cleaning in this portion of the video they've already they were frozen so they were soaking in water and now I'm just kind of running my hands across them making them sure making sure I got all the um, gunk and fat and stuff off of them doing the same for these t-bones here we like really thin strips of meat we don't like thick tough meat and so that's why they're so thin when I get through cleaning my meat, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I like to pat it dry before I season it. Um, it's just what I do for all of my meat. So that's the riblets. I'll do the same for the T-bones. And then I'll season them. Season them. So normally I use onion powder, garlic powder, and Creole seasoning. In this video, you'll see that I'm only using the Creole seasoning. The barbecue gives it a flavor on its own, and then we like to smoke them with apple chips, so I don't want to over season it. I went to uh, seal that with foil, and then I remembered that I had some beef sausage that I'm also going to put on the grill. I like beef sausage. My husband likes turkey sausage, so to keep them knowing which ones they are, I cook the beef sausage with the ribs and steak and now I'm getting ready to clean some chicken and I clean the chicken on the pan with the chicken I am going to add the turkey sausage might do some hot dogs I might not they I took them out of the freezer I haven't put them in the freezer I bought them from the store today you'll see that in a video on my see me blog channel um I put them in the refrigerator to decide if I'm gonna put them on the grill or not I just added a little vinegar to the water it helps to clean the chicken I do that every time I was like actually out of vinegar just bought that from the store so I'm going to clean the chicken I'm going to season that as well once I finish cleaning the chicken I go ahead and start the grill because I want the coals um, the fire to burn off the coals really good we don't like that charcoal taste in our food so here I've put the remaining um, amount of coals out of that big bag and now I'm going to get a small bag that I just bought from the store today and I'm going to add those coals as well. I got quite a lot of meat to cook so I want to make sure that I have enough coals. Once I'm done, I spread them out a little bit and I'll go ahead and light them. I love the ones that you don't have to add lighter fluid. You just light them. They light really quickly. And they get to they spread and get to burning. So I'm just running up the hill to put the trash in the um, dumpster. But when I come back, I'm gonna grab the um, right that goes on top. I like for that to um, be on the fire while it's high like this because if there's any meat or residue or anything left over on the grill from the last time we used it. It helps to burn it off so that's where I went to get that rack and I'm gonna sit it on the fire and let it burn with let it get hot with the fire so there it is and you just lay it on top and that's all you gotta do so while that's burning uh, in which I keep checking every five minutes I come to the door you guys but I'm gonna go, I want to go inside and start getting the baked beans ready. So I'm going to grab an onion and um, cut the, that. And I'm also going to heat up some olive oil and get my um, bell pepper out of the freezer. In another video um, that's already posted, you'll see that I had a ton of green bell pepper as well as colored bell pepper and I chopped it all up and put them in individual um, freezer bags and put them in the freezer. That way you don't lose your bell pepper and you always have some to use. When I'm with you, I feel so much better, oh, yeah. 
tell you I was just a shell, so stuck in the dark. You came into my life and started a fire. You made me feel like I could touch the sky. Oh, there's nothing missing all that you my desire. I like to cut my onion up in big chunks because we like the taste of onion and bell pepper um, in our food. But you can, however you cut these up, if you choose to put onion in your baked beans, it's up to you. Um, cut them up how you like. Small, big, strips, whole, it's up to you. So now that the oil um, has heated up, I'm going to add the onion and also the bell pepper and just let those um cook until they're caramelized once you cook those down until they're caramelized add your baked beans cover and simmer for as long as you like baby don't be shy ooh, ooh, ooh. just follow yours and i'll follow mine because i know Chicken tends to take the longest to cook, so I'm adding the chicken on, and I'm going to cook everything else around it. I'm going to add um, chicken and the turkey sausage. Turkey sausage will come off pretty quickly, but that will give my husband, he's on his way back home, something to munch on <laughs> when he gets home and wants to taste everything. So I'm going to put the turkey sausage on in with the chicken um, and let that get the cooking when he gets home I'm also gonna get him to move the grill to the front porch because it's hot out here I don't like to start the grill on the porch because when the fire's burning I'm very paranoid about it dropping through and um, burning down the house but when he gets home he'll move it for me so here I am ended up having to cut the onions off and go tend to the grill but now that the onions are caramelized I'm gonna go ahead um, and add the baked beans I can uh, they're cooking pretty good so I'm gonna cut them down on low and just let them simmer while I'm tending to the grill before you I was just a shell so stuck in the dark you came into my life and started a fire Mr. like to come home and take over all the time. He wanted you to see the smoke rolling off of the grill. <laughs> it smells and looks so good. Honestly, the meat looks darker 
than what it actually looked like I guess because we we're under that blue patio it looks a little darker we do like our sausage with burn on it um, and that those are just like we liked it those are the beef ones and they were really good really really good the chicken was good it was some of it was crispy on the outside but it was they were all really juicy on the inside we didn't put barbecue sauce on it we just wanted that grilled taste but it came out really good so i'm going to show you what my first plate looks like i hope you enjoyed this video if you do make sure that you subscribe like comment and share with all your friends hope you have a wonderful rest of your week talk to you soon